We actually have a guy in China who runs 19 nodes. You can just go there. There's a status page where you can see all the peers and where they're from in the world. So guys, are we live now? I am Algirdas. I am also known like Shefas. I am from BMF. Yeah, I'm a former member of the BAT team, the Burst app team. Still a huge fan of that team. Um, I'm the one who did the Explorer, and I love Burst. How's it, guys? Um, I, I found the Burst community uh, just yeah on, on Google. But there's also BMF, there's uh, BT Dex, um, and they're all part of the same thing, really. It's all one big community. And um, yeah, you guys should get involved. It's really cool. Okay, my name is Resthorn. You can find me by that name on the Discord channels. And I'm also running a token. I'm just lurking around, helping if I can. I'm from Central Europe, by the way. I'm the co-creator of the Phoenix Wallet, uh, together with the Burst.js library. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm part of the, 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 the team and the community. Let's answer this question. What is sodium? Sodium is the name of uh, our first hard, uh, hard fork under the flag of the Burst Apps team. We were able to, uh, to, to provide a Java compiler uh, and as we are looking out for adoption and all of that, so uh, we decided um, to, to lower the fees for the execution of a smart contract. Meanwhile, for those who are not familiar with smart contracts, what do smart contracts do for the simple person? It's called smart contracts because once you have agreed upon a certain logic, like an automatic or conditioned payment, so you can um, uh, you, 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 you just can publish that on the blockchain and then it will be executed. So uh, everybody's thinking that Ethereum is the one who was the first to introduce the concept of smart contracts, but the real implemented one was uh, in, in, with the start of um, uh, uh, Burst in, in August 2014. Like we, we now have this sodium is hard fork. So that means that uh, this new version of nodes don't uh, interact with older versions. So it's very hard to update and we why need uh, support from community. Uh, costs when you're activating a contract, costs when you execute a contract, uh, what's going on inside the contract. So what I do here, I'm just uh, choosing the testnet network um, I have an account here, which I use for my smart contract development stuff. And you have uh, the, the, the name of the token. There's kind of a descriptor. Yeah, this is, as you can see, I, I, I put even some more formal expression inside the, uh, the description. This is a JSON format, the first uh, step inside. And now there is kind of, I can inspect it more. So this is kind of a, a list of, think of it kind of the market store or my app store. Um, the idea came up when I thought that we have a lot of tools and uh, some people contributed already to, to the community, but all the tools and all the, all the apps, they're kind of uh, scattered around. I will put, for example, the Phoenix wallet as a token here inside, and then it says like, okay, yeah, this is a cool app. I, I would like to donate on it. Enter um, an account zone here. and. I can start to register a new contract. And then I have to uh, put into my passphrase a good reputation of an application. I can even transfer that. And this works all with the smart contract logic behind. So this is just the user interface I'm doing and I'm using the blockchain uh, as, as the, the entire database and the execution logic. So uh, and if I'm going to activate, can see that uh, he's showing me saying that I have to pay a small fee to activation activate that he's calculating that saying it's about five bursts. Yeah, it seems it seems uh, people are reaching more across their walls um, and not their Facebook walls, like the actual walls. <laughs> behind me. In BT Dex, the Discord community there, most of the time it's obviously through the screen and it's computer stuff, but I, I sense um, a lot of sensors behind the sensors in the community. Hey, lacquer man, you've got some more eyes, more sensors here. Woohoo! 
Um, so yeah, basically, uh, where I was last time, I'm still singing the same tune, uh, doing my whole burst mining journey over again, and it won't take as long because I know what what to look out for now. I've also had your help with the the community, just giving out pointers. Let's return to sodium. We forgot to mention uh, slot fee fees enforcement, deep link specifications, block time stabilization, and subscription fee redu reduction. Open that application and do that. You know that from maybe from the Zoom stuff, if you get a Zoom link, you, you, it starts open the Zoom if it's installing your system. We have this already in a, in a, or in a, in a legacy version, which was the prior development team started uh, to, to introduce the deep linking. Uh, this makes us possible that we can, for example, uh, ramp, uh, start the Phoenix wallet and uh, redirect to the to the payment uh, page and fill out the fields already. Formerly, it was like 10 seconds up to 2,000 seconds, and now the block time is about 100 to 360 seconds with the average of 240 seconds, which means four minutes, which is the average block time in the Burst blockchain. Very neat and nice. It's called the sub subscription. Or Ah, every two days, uh, I would like to transfer a certain amount to a certain account. And this is what we call subscription. Example and where we use the subscription fee today. So the NDSA rewards is actually a subscription for the BMF. Zoc, you created uh, this script. I, I create multiple scripts. Uh, multiple. <laughs> running on not, it's not only this yeah. one. Yes. So, yeah, so but one when? of them is the NDSA uh, reward uh, script that's running on the chain who is uh, rewarding uh, people who are running a burst node, you see the Explorer. So you can see here, this is the burst Explorer. So if you are interested in the NDSA rewards to so how to get it, you can click question mark and it will pop up. And this will state what's uh, in, uh, required from you to, to be awarded for, for the NDSA reward. Token is like a share of your business. Yes, we can consider it like that. Indeed, if I have to be honest, uh, this token is running from the start of this year and for for months there wasn't any interest from anyone to join in. Then one guy came, then another one came. and Maybe if you got a factory and it's like a shirt or, or an actual physical token or a skateboard, they're printing or something, you can print a token per physical item. Then we start mixing blockchain with real world value, you know. On the other hand, Birdscoin has, has literally a thousand of different users. It has its own exchange, this BTDEX platform, which is absolutely nice. Just like in our daily lives. I mean, even like like my friends or parents don't know what Burst is. With, with uh, BTDEX, we create uh, entry points. Uh, I, I think uh, Burst, uh, must be used uh, use cases where you can use it now you can uh, uh, rent from shadow vpn uh, what you can do other things with burst okay cool let's um let's maybe look at doing for le uh, let's talk burst number five about entry points uh, i'm going to do a live presentation in our town Honestly, BTDEX will be one of my presentation tools showing off that it takes only a few seconds to make an account. And but that that's BTDEX. It's one EXE downloaded and that's it. <laughs> yep, straight to the point. <laughs> Click and forget. So anyway, it will be a, a not so long show. Uh, only showing the good side of crypto. The rest of it is run with regular money, so maybe we should ban fiat money and use only burst. Okay, I think uh, let's let's finish the stream. When the just to cross the fingers for the hard fork right now. So ah, yes. Just to mention that we have rolled out, um, I think there are about 80% of uh, uh, nodes which are running the new software, 78. isn't it? 78, 78, yeah, at the moment. So, uh, I think it's worth to mention that uh, we actually did test uh, the sodium yeah. hard fork, right? Exactly. I would not anticipate that we would have any problems uh, in, the hard, in this hard fork. Due to the, to the efforts of the community, they were accepted that the node, uh, the node operators, they, they follow that and uh, the exchanges were very handsome on all of that. This was very seamless for so far but let's see what happened in the next hours yes, yes. <laughs>
Okay. Cool, man. Danke. Schaut euch. Okay, thank you, guys. Let's see you later again.